Okay, here we're going to try the AB combination. So, as we can see, we've got the simple combination where we simply take the A and connect the B directly to it. And then we got the more advanced combination where we simply take the key part of the B, which is the B hook. The word line is for all letters, or for most letters, I should say. And we just add it to the end of the A like so. So a simple example of such would be the word about. Now we could use the simple AB and go O, U, and then T, for example. Or we could try putting the O, U, and the T inside of it. And then we could simply place the A over top like so. And what we'd end up with in the end is we'd have A, B, O, U. And we could try putting the T maybe out there, for example. And with two dashes, it's a T. A T two dashes that are somewhat symmetrical. What else can we do with it? Well, if it ends a word, we could, for example, with crab. Now, as you can see here, we've got to make clear that we, this is our R, this is our A, and this is our B. The key is that we don't want this to be confused with this. So there has to be a nice long bar across the side, and the R's have to be pulled in tight. That's the general rule with the R. It always has to be tight. That's what prevents op opposing corners to end up looking like an R. Um, what else can we do? Well, we could try the word about again, but we could use the original AB, and we could come off of here and then fork out of here, for example, about, uh, we could go A, B, O, U, T, about, and we got lots of options.